everybody, it's John, aka Smelly Telly, and I'm hanging out here in Evansville, Indiana at moremusicandmoreguitars.com. And today we're here to talk about this Telecaster, which is from this new series, the Player Plus series that came out from Fender just a few days ago as of when we taped this video. And this is a really cool guitar. Um, we're going to kind of get into it on face value. Looks like a regular old Tele, doesn't it? It's a Tele maple fretboard in a sunburst finish. But when we get into the specs, you'll see that it's actually, there's a lot more going on here. And for me, I was telling Larry, this feels a lot like um, kind of an upgrade. <laughs> Everything on here feels like upgrades. And we'll get into that as we go as well. So typical Tele type of build, you do have maple fretboard and a maple neck and, you know, the sunburst finish on an alder body. Uh, I will say though, it does have the belly cut back here, which for some people that find telly sometimes be a little bit restrictive, a little blocky feeling, having that belly cut can help them out. It doesn't bother me, but for some people. Uh, and then as far as after we get past the woods and the shape, this is where things kind of get upgraded. So we're going to start up here at the headstock, talk about the tuners. They're locking tuners, which is phenomenal, you know. Uh, big upgrade over. You know what's funny is my two favorite kind of tuners are like the original back from the 50s slotted type of, uh, of tuners. I love those and I love locking tuners and then everything from in between there I'm just kind of like, yeah, you know, it gets the job done. And yeah, it's probably not too easy to get excited about tuners, but it is an upgrade. Uh, we get to the neck, and it is a modern C, which is kind of what I call not too little, not too big, it's just a right. Uh, it has medium jumbo frets, has the satin finish, which is a big upgrade for me. Um, I can't get on with the high gloss these days, everybody's a little bit different. But the big thing about the fretboard, and this is like a really big deal, it has a 12-inch radius, which is very different from what you would typically find on a Fender Telecaster or Stratocaster. You know, back in the old days, it was 7.25, and then at some point they went to nine and a half. And if you don't know what radius means, it's how much curve there is in the, the uh, fretboard, and the bigger the number, the flatter it is. And a lot of people like the flatter radius because uh, you can get the strings a little bit closer to the frets, and you can bend. It, the bends are a little bit easier, and it makes it so when you bend, they don't choke out as easy as compared to maybe a more round radius. For me, it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, I judge all my guitars on their own merit. This one plays great, um, and uh, I've played a couple of the other from the Player Plus series, and they, they, they all play fantastic. So if you like a, a flat fretboard, this might be the telly just for you. So we get to the body and the electronics, and so these are the Telecaster Player Plus pickups, and the best way to describe them are they are kind of vintagey in tone, but they're completely noiseless. And when I mean noiseless, I don't mean when you play them, they don't make noise. It just means if you don't really like that 60 cycle hum, that hum you get from single coil pickups, having noiseless pickups will be kind of a big deal for you. Also, there is just a standard three-way switch, but they do have a push-pull. So when you pull up on the tone pot, it puts the two pickups in series, so it's more like a humbucker, get a little bit more output, and we're gonna go through that here in a little bit. And then lastly, down here on the bridge, um, they've gone for individual saddles, so for a little bit better intonation, um, and uh, pretty smooth. They are very high-tech looking. To me, they look almost space age, so uh, less string breakage down here as well. So all of it, you put it all together, it's pretty much an upgraded telly. And these are, I don't like to use the word, I'll just put it this way. When you think about all the, the uh, upgrades on this, think about what you think a guitar like this would go for and then just click on the link and see and, and just prepare to be surprised. <laughs> so um, let's get a couple of sounds with it. I really have been digging this. I actually really dig the neck pickup. And if you watch any of my videos, typically I'm not a fan of tele neck pickups, but this one sounds awesome. Therefore, we're gonna start on the bridge. We're set pretty clean through a deluxe reverb. Uh, 
that has that nice telly spank to it. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull this up and turn these into series, which is again, it's kind of like turning these two pickups into a humbucker. You can hear it's got more output. It's really pushing that reverb, right? <laughs> I dig it. We'll come up to the middle position. And then to the neck pickup, which I just got done saying how much I like it. So I hope you like it too. Sounds lovely. Okay, let's put on a little bit of dirt because some people like some dirt with their telly. <laughs> Let's turn it into a humbucker, right? So this is uh, just the bridge pickup. Now I'll pull this up and it puts the two pickups in series. <laughs> That's pretty massive. Okay, so we're back to just regular kind of telly-ish wiring. Middle position. And then finally that neck pickup. Pretty cool. I'm digging it. Uh, this would be a telly that I would be very happy to own. So if someone wants to buy it for me, I appreciate it very much. So this is cool. Now, just to kind of give you a rundown on the Player Plus series, there's basically two versions of the Telecaster, two versions of a Strat, and then there's a uh, jazz bass and precision, I think, and I haven't played either of the basses. I played everything else. They all kind of have the same really nice feel. Um, especially that satin neck feels pretty awesome. So there may be more coming out later. I don't know. I don't, I don't work for Fender. I have no idea. I think they are, if you're interested in something that kind of has a traditional look but a more modern playability and, and sounds, um, you should definitely check these out for sure. Um, this has been a guitar that has probably surprised me the most since 
Um, the Jason Isbell telly. I really liked the Jason Isbell telly, but uh, this is pretty fantastic. If you have any questions about this or any of the other guitars in the series or anything else that we carry, you can uh, log on to our website at moreguitars.com and you can talk to our sales associates or you can give us a call or even better, just come on down here and come in and plug in and play and kind of experience all these for yourself. So anyway, my name's John, you can call me Smelly. I really do appreciate you hanging out and checking out this guitar with me and I'll see you in the next video.